hello today we're going to discuss about Fajan's method which comes under the precipitation titration so in Fajan's method the main theory so the main theory tells us that it is based on the adsorption of organic dye upon the precipitate formed during the titration so when the adsorption of, of the organic dye occurs on the precipitate the color change happens so this color change determines the, our end point of titration and then we have our adsorption indicators so the adsorption indicators that we use generally fluorescein and eosin so fluorescein and gives an color change from green to red from green greenish yellow to red and eosin gives from pink to reddish violet there are other also indicators that i will be linking on the description below so check that out there are other also indicators so if we go to the main procedure this procedure we have our burette and our conical flux in the burette we have agno3 that is silver nitrate and in our conical flux we have the nacl where the chlorine is our unknown analyte to be determined and the indicator the nacl reacts with agno3 and causes a displacement reaction to form agcl and nano3 here the agcl forms the precipitate the insoluble precipitate so this precipitate forms at the bottom of the beaker and the nano3 as is our byproduct so what happens which causes a change in color in the solution is that when we drop excess amount of agno3 in the solution after the displacement reaction the excess amount of agno3 causes its dissociation into ag plus and nano3 minus ion and these ions adsorbs on the surface of the precipitate so first the ag plus silver ion forms the primary layer so the silver ion adsorbs on the surface of surface of this precipitate that is the agcl and forms the primary layer since ag plus is positive and no3 minus is negative so the positive ag plus primary layer attracts further nitrate ion which is no3 minus it is negative so this nitrate ion gets on top of the ag plus layer and forms the secondary layer secondary adsorption layer so there are two layers formed after the formation of the precipitate this is the primary layer denoted by this green color and the nitrate ion forms the secondary layer so these things are to be remembered the concept of layers this formation of layering around this precipitate is called nucleation the process of the layer formation is called nucleation and these layers are formed respectively thus we have also the indicator which is an organic dye so this indicator is an organic dye present in this solution so the organic dye is negatively charged so this negatively charged organic dye has very much high adsorption power than the nitrate ion the nitrate ion uh, is replaced the nitrate ion is replaced by the organic dyes so this ag plus ion forms the primary layer as always around this agcl precipitate and then comes the organic dye so previously the secondary layer the secondary absorption adsorption layer the secondary adsorption layer was nitrate so this no3 minus ion gets replaced by the organic dye which has more adsorption power than the nitrate ion so it forms the secondary layer now this nitrate get released and the organic dye comes in so this happens in a very short amount of time which is mostly negligible so at this period the color change happens so this color change happens due to the replacement of no3 minus ion by the organic dye 
so during this replacement process the adsorption process takes place by the organic dye and this shows the so this adsorption process by the organic dye causes a change in color which helps us to determine a more sharp and clear color change determining the end point so that indicates that no more NaCl is left on the conical flask and all of it is used to make the precipitate AgCl. So this is how the sharp color change is obtained by the organic dye by the adsorption theory. Remember it is not absorption, it is adsorption. So this nitrate ion is, really, uh, is replaced by the organic dye and this happens very quickly. It is a very spontaneous process and happens in very short amount of time. I have jot down some of the point which will help you to understand it from the beginning. So the first point is the form formation of the AgCl precipitate by double displacement reaction. Then the excess AgNO3 dropped from the butate uh, forms the primary adsorption layer by the Ag plus ion. So this Ag plus ion is liberated by the AgNO3 which forms the positive layer over the AgCl precipitate and then the negatively charged ion which is NO3 minus forms the secondary layer over the Ag plus which is the primary layer but however the presence of organic dye causes the replacement of NO3 minus because it has more adsorbing power than the nitrate ion so it causes a replacement and this adsorption of the organic dye over the precipitate that is AgCl in this case causes a change in color so by this we can get a prominent end point and can determine the accurate value of our unknown analyte so this is how we can uh, get our end point by Fajan's method so that's all I could describe about Fajan's method of precipitation titration so if you like it uh, so please give a like and do share this with your friends and here is the subscription subscribe to my channel bye